Hey, what's going on? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and I'm going to show you guys how to make a telephone cable. Now before we get started on crimping, um, the plugs, testing, cutting, that sort of thing, the most important thing about this cable is you need to know the USOC pinout. Oh, there it is. So this USOC pinout, depending on if you need a one pair, a two pair, a three pair, or four pair, this pinout is what you want to stick to when you're making your cable. Now let's get to it. Okay, so I have some snips, a tester, a crimp tool, some mod plugs, a RJ11 six conductor, and an RJ45 plug. We have blue Cat5e cable and Cat3 cable in white, of course. If you're using Cat5 for a telephone, no problem, no sweat, as long as you're still using that USOC pinout we talked about earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Let's cut off a piece of this uh, cable off. You'll see this pull string here. Let's get rid of that. Get it out of the way. Okay. Now, as you can tell, you have an orange pair. You got your blue pair, brown pair, and green pair. Depending on what you're doing, just follow the color code you saw guide, and boom. Now, the plug we're going to do is a six conductor RJ11 mod plug. So, being that that's a three pair plug, we're going to line up the color code to what we need it to be at. Alright, now that we got our pairs straightened out to the color code, we're going to get rid of this brown pair. We don't need this, so go ahead and snip that off here at the bottom. There we go. Now the next step is to, we want to keep these wires as straight as possible when we put, put it in the plug. Well, we probably only need, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch of this, so let's go ahead and trim this down. There we go. Now, I always like to push a little bit of pressure on my finger onto these conductors because it helps to um, keep them straight. That way they don't wobble around everywhere. Now, let's get our mod plug. Now, as you can tell, the plug itself, it has this little kind of uh, slot here where the crimp tool is going to come down on it and secure onto the jacket and the little mod plugs, the gold pins here, they got some teeth. Now they get crimped into the copper conductor inside the plug. Now let's try to slide this plug on. Now as you're putting it in, I press up, I press up into the mod plug. It helps keep the wires straight and then I slide it in there. You kind of get a feel for it. Sometimes it won't go straight in, so you got to kind of feel it out, move it around a little bit. Make sure it's in there. And then you want to push, push the jacket in. There we go. You want to make the jacket get in there, too. Um, actually, it just it, it helps to have it in there as much as possible so this back slot gets crimped down onto it. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to take a look at the conductors in there. It's hard to tell, but double check that to see if they line up correctly with the USOC pin out. And if they do, then we want to go ahead and crimp it. If they don't, you're going to have to pull this out, make sure they're straight, put it back in there before you crimp it. Now another thing you might want to do, it's hard to tell, but in the very front of this plug, you can kind of see the conductors pressed up to the mod plug. I always like to press in the cable also because that helps the copper conductors get terminated and make proper contact with those gold pins once they're in there. Now let's crimp this. Now the tool we got here, it's a crimp tool, but it has the slots for the 8 position, the 6 position, the 4 position cable. We want to put it in the appropriate slot. Let's pop it in there. And then I always, once again, like to push in a little bit while it's in there. Now let's give it a squeeze. Now let's do the RJ45. 
Now here's our Cat5 cable. Let's go ahead and cut a piece of this off. And then we're just going to do the same thing with the uh, this cable as we did with the Cat3 four pair. But that was a uh, you know a different connector, the RJ11. This is the RJ45. Let's get to it. There we go. So we got them sort of straightened out. You want to definitely double check the color code at the bo at the bottom here towards your thumbnail. Make sure you got the pin out straightened out. Now let's trim some of this off. There we go. You want to take a look at it. Make sure the pairs are where they need to be. Looks like we got an orange pair out of place. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of uh, move the cable around a little bit. Keep it straight. Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the RJ45 plug like we did with the RJ11. You want to kind of push up into the plug. Push it all the way in. Make sure the front of the plug here is making contact. I mean, it doesn't have to make perfect contact, but it's nice to see the pairs all the way in there to where the gold pins can crimp down on them. And don't forget, you also want your jacket in there past this little prong piece. So the crimp tool crimps right into that. Boom! Making it nice tight and uh, a proper fit. So that way this jacket doesn't come out later when you're pulling the cable out. Now let's crimp it. Okay, got our crimp tool with the eight position slot. Go ahead and slide your plug in there. I, I push in a little bit into the plug so that way your plug is, uh, you know, it's just a little thing that makes me feel a little better. I squeeze it. Oh, there we go. As you could tell, I don't know if you could tell or not, but the crimp tool, like I said, this little piece right here, it goes in there squeezing this little prong onto the jacket and inside the tool in here you'll, you're actually getting the gold pins terminated into the conductors. Let's see if I can get a good shot here for you. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so the last step here, if you're going to make a lot of these, you might want to buy a continuity tester. Uh, this one checks the 10 base T, 568B pinout, the USOC pinout, or the 568B. Now let's plug the Cat3 patch cable I made into it. Okay, so this was a six conductor, three pair cable. I have green lights. Let's check the other side. All right, we wired it properly. All right, so hopefully we learned something today, and I helped save you guys some dough for you do-it-yourselfers. And, um, you know, that's basically it. You can do a Cat3 or Cat5 cable for telephone cables, but remember, the USOC pinout, that is a universal thing that all the Cat3 cable is wired to. Questions, call us. Number here is 888-797-3697.